Hmm. Spin flux. Scientific fidget experience. Well, that's what it says. Well, I'll just look inside and see what to find. The odd shaped box, too. Oh, well, that's nice. Look. Hello. Oh, well, hello to you. <coughs> Here's a clever thing which they show me on the stand. Take opposite end and lift it up just like that. And that's how to remove it. They've got a lot of trouble with this packaging. It's just beautiful. There's a bit more to do yet. There we are. Right. The ribbon's away. And there's the object itself. It includes a package, a little instruction manual in the top of the packaging. And I'm glad to see they do pictures. I like pictures. Now this is interesting because it's not just that, but they also provide a very nice little tray, a wooden bowl to put it in. I discovered also playing with it that the bottom of the bowl is not flat, it's slightly concave. And it turns out you can put it in there and spin it quite fast and it'll spin for quite a long time too. If that was all, it wouldn't be too much, but um, there's something much, much cleverer going on here because this inner ball here is not fixed inside, it's loose. Well, it's sort of loose and then suddenly it's not loose. It's what's going on here. This is a neodymium iron boron sphere, a magnet, a very, very strong magnet. This is aluminium. And when there's still, there's no force between it. But when this moves, it starts creating like magnetic flux, a cutting through here, creating what's called an eddy current. And the physicist Lenz discovered that the effect of the eddy current is to try and resist the motion. So as you move it along there, there's a sweet spot where what you're trying to do is you're trying to find out the position where the poles are on the two ends of an equator. And that's when you get the least resistance. And it's quite loose. And then the thing will spin around in your hand. When you've got it the other way and going to at right angles, it's quite resistive. As it starts moving, it gets very stiff immediately and it won't, it won't spin. So this is a wonderful desktop toy, which, um, well, frankly, it doesn't do anything at all, but it's a wonderful way of entertaining the senses while you're having a, a serious business conversation or conference with somebody, rather. It's purely a feel of suddenly the ball is loose inside and suddenly it's very stiff, and it's entirely due to the positioning of the pole of the magnet. A wonderful way of entertaining your hands productively by entertaining them while your brain is concentrating on really important things. It's one of the nicest, most interesting desk toys I think I've ever come across.